people with Parkinson uh, as a consequence of uh, disease progression, but also of the interaction with the dopaminergic medications, uh, might experience uh, changes in their behavior. Uh, impulse uh, control disorders or increased impulsivity more generally is possibly the most common one. And uh, we have conducted uh, several studies uh, in Italy and in Europe uh, and other groups as well have uh, worked on this. Uh, and overall, uh, uh, the prevalence of impulse uh, control disorders or increased impulsivity uh, can be as high as uh, 20% of the total patients. Now, not in every patient, this, uh, not in every person, this uh, becomes uh, uh, clinically um, meaningful, meaning uh, that uh, there are uh, sufficient limitations uh, and impact uh, in activities of daily living to require medical intervention. But uh, definitely uh, a significant proportion of people with Parkinson are at risk. And we know that specific medications uh, could uh, actually facilitate the development of this uh, excessive impulsivity. In particular, uh, dopamine agonists uh, have been uh, called, uh, considered a possible cause or trigger effect. But in general, I think all dopaminergic drugs uh, when people reach uh, the uh, more advanced stage, they uh, have uh, they carry this risk. So there should be surveillance, uh, and possibly uh, neurologists should learn how to manage them. So the CRISP study was a study that uh, uh, was conducted uh, in uh, across uh, several countries. Uh, and was a European survey uh, with the objective really to have a latest uh, uh, accurate update on the prevalence of impulse controls and others, uh, non motor symptoms in people with Parkinson. The uh, data uh, collected uh, uh, demonstrated uh, that uh, up to 45% of people with motor fluctuations uh, do have at least one uh, pathological behavior, so which is uh, quite a remarkable uh, uh, finding, I think. The most prevalent one, uh, and this is uh, actually uh, overlapping uh, previous surveys, uh, is uh, binge eating, so compulsive eating and shopping and hobbies are the most common ones. And uh, they are followed by uh, increased uh, sexual desire, hypersexuality, and uh, less commonly uh, gambling. The PRISM study also showed that, that this uh, uh, behavioral adverse events are much more common in people with Parkinson uh, currently on dopamine agonists compared to people who had never been exposed to dopamine agonists before. Of course, uh, this is a cross-sectional study, so there may be a bias, uh, and we don't know why a subset of people with Parkinson uh, surveilled in the study never took a dopamine agonist, but definitely confirms that uh, boosting dopaminergic stimulation can uh, be a trigger uh, of uh, behavioral problems in Parkinson disease, and it also provides uh, a, a recent update uh, on the prevalence and the characteristics of uh, ICD uh, or ICD in Parkinson. 